G'day, D-Live, and welcome back to the Gives a Minutes D-Live stream for a Tuesday afternoon affair. It has just gone six minutes past three in the PM for me. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening to you, whatever the time it is, wherever you're consuming this content, you're always welcome right here on the Gives a Minutes D-Live stream, looking into the chit-chat. I see Music Man, I see The Screamer, I see Devo, I see Shadow Rose. <coughs> I see June Girl. I see five crew, and therefore five cheeses, because everyone gets a cheers when they join the Gives a Minutes D live stream chit chat. Five cheeses. Still not feeling 100% here, but a little better, a little better. In the chit chat, Music Man, the only hosted stream, really, like Johnny Carson Show. Not too sure what that means. Said you were just live, tech issues. <coughs> I did have a rough start here. Sometimes Restream doesn't connect to DLive. It'll connect everywhere else, but it will just say sending data to DLive. And when that happens, I know because I have the DLive machine on the on the monitor and I don't see the stream come up, but I know it's going everywhere else. So what I do then, I just toggle all of them off on Restream, stop the stream on OBS, start it again. That's an ingest issue on DLive's half. Doesn't happen very often. Maybe it happens once every two or three months. But it's an it's a notable thing. It's a notable thing because now there will be two streams on Facebook, two streams on YouTube, two streams on Trovo. The first one will go for 30 seconds, the next one will be the whole thing. But it doesn't really doesn't 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 bother me. But that's what that's in relation to. The Screamer. Hello, Screamer. How you doing, man? Good morning. 6 a.m. here. How you going, man? Good to see you. Good to have you. Good to know you. Devo, hey Gives, I'm feeling okay today. How are you doing today? I'm feeling a little better. I'm, I'm glad you are as well. I'm not feeling quite as bad as I did yesterday. I'm still obviously pretty gunky down here and, and it's, you know, it's building up and the phlegm's getting... It's not as bad as it was yesterday. I've almost finished the medicine here though. And I do have only two more of these strepsils to go. So maybe throughout the stream I'll, I'll uh, endeavor to finish it. Yesterday I was feeling unwell, yeah. And Charlotte Rose in the house. Charlotte Rose. You hear that? What is this? What is this? Charlotte Rose sent me this. What is this? I know not. What is this? Is this? We're gonna open it soon. I don't know what it is. I don't. I genuinely don't know. Charlotte Rose said, "Get us, get a kniffy and a small plate." I did. I'm assuming those two things go together. I I could be wrong though, but I'm assuming that and that go hand in hand. Are you okay now, Davo? I'm feeling well. Hey, MM Charlotte Rose, the gives a minute logo. June girl. Oh my goodness, you made me jump. Oh, did I? Did I startle you there, June girl? I'm a sorry. I'm a sorry. I apologize. Hello, beautiful souls. Hello, beautiful. Hello, Rose. Hello. Oh, no, June. Hey, June, how are you? I'm feeling sorry for you, man. Music man? Uh, don't, be, don't be sorry for me. Nobody's died from a flu. Wow! Wow! Actually, people have died from flus. I'm not gonna die here, though. I'm just in a little bit of discomfort. I would consider this mild discomfort. 
You sound like you need antibiotics. I probably did. I, I reckon I'm past it now, but I reckon I did need antibiotics for sure. I mean, there's antibiotics in here, isn't there? I don't know. Probably did. I got it. Is I had an infection. That's what I had. I had an, I, it wasn't just a sore throat. It was an infection. But um, you know, I've been infected before. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I mean, the best thing about getting infected is that then you build up the immunity to never have the issue again, right? You you get you get immune to it. So I'll I'll get past this. Just kidding. <laughs> He's dead? Did he just die? Oh no. She. Whoa, hang on. Family friendly. Bed sheet. Bed sheet. Ah, uh, I thank you, Shala, honey. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Pretty good day. Not a great day. Just a pretty good day for Shala. Good, thanks. Screamer says good. Hey, Screamer. It is turkey. It's a turkey. In here? <laughs> I'll just hold it here next to my head for uh, goodwill. Ross Hex. Hey, Ross. How you doing, man? Good to see you, buddy. Um, I'm going to cheese you with a slab. How you doing, Ross? Good to see you, man. The Screamer with a lemon. Thank you, Screamer. Safeski in the house. G'day, Safe. How you doing? I'm going to give you a cheese here, too. Cheers, my friend. How you going? Charlotte Rose. Safe Ossity. Safe Ossity. Oh, Safe Ossity. Gunsmoke in the house. G'day, Gunsmoke. How you doing? That's getting the microphone a little too low, though. <laughs> Gunsmoke, how you doing? Except when you're infected by an explosive sent in the mail. It's not ticking. It's not ticking. That's a good sign, right? Definitely not explosives. Charlotte, um, I'll leave it up to you to decide. When shall we open such... Mayunis! Wow! <laughs> When should we open this? I'll leave it up to you to decide. Samuel, that was you, Samuel. Thank you very much. How you doing, Samuel? Give you a little cheers here for the medicines. Cheers, Samuel. Whoopsie. Uh, is the Apple MacBook still going strong? Screamer, yes. I I do use a um, cooling pad. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have it on a cooling pad right now. It's sitting like about... I guess three inches off the desk and the cooling pad sits underneath it. So this thing is like lifted and the cooling pad is USB power and it sucks in air. And I mean, that's how I've managed to work out, you know, the best way to use a MacBook Pro for live streaming. I used to get CPU usage up to like 55, 60% sometimes with the cooling pad. I never see it go past say six, 7% max. Although last two, Seems like last two or three streams, there has been some pretty funky OBS quid issues. It's like audio OBS not playing hand in hand together. But that's not the MacBook problem. It's the software problem. It's the blue cable, right? Yeah. But it can't be because Giggle Pickles hasn't been down there for a while. So, yo, Sammy, open it now if you want. Okay. Okay. How's the iPhone 6? Well, if you're referring to the iPhone 27. This guy here, it's almost out of battery, which is perplexing because it comes with a cable, but it's almost running out of battery. So I'm going to have to talk to my crew at Apple. You know, I can't review this unit unless they send me a new one with a better battery. Or can you charge phone batteries? I mean, I don't know if you can. Rob Mack in the house. Hey, fellow givers and yahoos. How you doing, Rob Mack? Good to see you, man. Cheers, as is. Hey, Rob Mack, how you been? Where you been? Well, let's open this then. Let's open this. Uh, here's my knife. Actually, I could probably just, uh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to, um, I don't want to, um, get styrofoam everywhere. You know, you know, you know how hard it is to clean up styrofoam once you've started cutting into it? Okay. Okay. Where's the little tab? Give me the tab. Okay, it's gonna be here. Or is it here? Can't work out which one it is. 
can't see this at all, right? Like 45 years of age of these eyes. I'm looking at that. All I can see is this big orange blur. And it's not even orange. Probably should get that checked out. Are you seeing changing colors, sir? Yes, I am. And since when have turtles been able to, to talk? Come on. Ah! Knife it proper. What's in the box? I don't know yet. I don't know. Usually, when items come in a box made of styrofoam, it's food items. Or beverage. Actually, should I be... I should be pretty careful here, because last time... No. Forget. Forget that. Forget that. It's an inflatable UFO. I'll let you guys see what it is first, right? I'm, I've, I've opened it. You guys can see. What's in there? Tell me what's... Tell me. Okay, don't worry. Silly string! It's a box of silly string! What have we here? Share the love. If you love your cheeses... We'd love to hear about it. Share the love on social. So there's cheese in here. Jesus. Cheesed to meet you. Cheesed to meet you? It says, Your cheese has left our little fromagerie, which is French for cheesery, in good condition. And we hope they found their way to you safely. Here are a few tips and tricks that will come in handy. Fridge me. Your hamper has been insulated for its journey, but we do still recommend popping the cheeses in the fridge as soon as possible. Is that sooner than eating or after the eating? I think that means after the eating, right? Point number two, eat me. See, I'd put that in front of fridge me. I'd put eat me and fri fridge the leftovers. Each of your cheeses, each of your cheese units has its own Handy best before date. Any cheeses packaged at our fromagerie with a milk the cow label on them can safely be consumed within 28 days of the pack date. Not all molds are bad. You can have good cheeses without mold. Sometimes you might see something a little funky on your cheese, but that is not necessarily reason for concern. During the cheese making and maturing process, molds are cultivated and cared for by the cheeses, but sometimes they can get bloomy. In the fromagerie, our cheesemongers care for them by packaging, by patting the molds down or cutting them off, all in the name of aesthetics. Here's what to look for when identifying your mold. Normal molds. White fluffy bunny tails. Whee! Greenish blue mottled spots, especially on soft brie and camembert style cheeses, and wrinkly dark crusts on goat cheeses are all completely normal. Please don't worry if you see any of these. Nasty molds. Red, pink, and orange molds shouldn't be consumed, particularly if you see moving animal tentacles and eyes looking back at you from a distance. I made that bit up. Any strong ammonia smells and also an indication the cheese is unfit for eating. Ammonia out. While all cheeses have their own quirks, if you see any of these suspicious molds on your cheese, please take pictures and email them to us at info milkthecow.com. Is that what this is called? Milk the cow. Blah, 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 blah. Always read the instruction manual, folks. Milk the cow. This is their logo. Charlotte Rose, I believe you sent me cheese. I believe I'm going to say thank you. I don't know much about cheeses. I know I like them, though. What if you're colorblind? Good, po <laughs> Good point. Good point. Um, more paraphernalia. Milk the cow is proud to join forces as a planet protector. We're thinking outside the box to protect the environment. 
Did you notice something woolly in your delivery box? I did. It's Whoopi Goldberg's hair dyed yellow. Whoopi! Introducing wool coal. Wool coal? Oh wow. That smells rotten. Holy crap. What is that smell? Dudes, that smells terrible. That smells like vomit. That is really, that is the weirdest packaging smell. Smell that. That smells terrible, huh? What the heck? This is an award-winning, environmentally responsible, innovative insulation packaging made from 100% sheep's wool. Introducing wool coal. It's proudly manufactured in Australia and New Zealand. G'day Grimsky and Net TV. Wow. Uh, it is first the first viable alternative to polystyrene and other unsustainable insulated packaging. Oh wait a second. Is this the wool sheep's? Which one's which? Nah, no, this is this is just regular polystyrene, right? It not only thermally outperforms them, but is also environmentally responsible. What about all the sheep that are running around without their fur? Crikey. What is wool cool made of? Wool cool is made 100% biodegradable and compostable, compostable felted sheep's wool. Sealed within a recyclable food grade liner. This is it, and that's the food grade... That's the food grade liner. This is the... Vomit smell. It smells like, um, this is gonna sound so weird, but this smells like one of those lousy, you know, you go to like a, in Australia has them, and I'm sure America has them, probably the opposite. America would have them for Australia, and Australia has them for America. You go to a bar, and it's like Wild West theme grill, bar and grill, and on the floor they've got like fake sawdust, wow. and the smell smells wow. like. Just, it's, it smells like, yo, good day, Charles, how you doing, man? Thanks for the lemon, dude. It smells like, um, like, almost like manufacturing to make it look old or to make it look dirty. And the sawdust isn't actually sawdust. It's like some kind of compound. That's compound. what this smells like. Yeah, it's weird. It's not a pleasant smell. But it's called wool cool. Is it hygienic? Mayunas. Wow. It's naturally washing and scouring processes that have used to ensure wool coal is sterilized. In fact, other pro after processing, the wool smells like a cuddly new pure wool jumper. Not at all, dude. It smells like death. That's weird. Um, how do I dispose of wool cool after my delivery? It's easily. Planet Protector has a partnership with Red Cycle in Australia. All you have to do is take the recyclable food grade film off the wool cool liner and place it into a soft okay blah 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 pretty cool let's get it out of there actually let's leave it in there let's get the things out from around it burn it right ooh shyla ooh wee wah woo oat cake rounds heritage britain's most historic crackers Anyone from the UK in the chit chat? We have your crackers. Come and get them. They're over here. Oat cake rounds from Heritage. They will go well with the cheeses. Speaking of which, wee wah woo. Bella Vitano. Tennessee whiskey. Now I see the connection. Tennessee whiskey cheese. What? Look at that. What? Tennessee whiskey cheese? I mean, I don't drink throughout the week. Am I going to get toasty here with this? Charlotte Rose. Tennessee whiskey Bella Vitano cheese. Full of spirit and a smooth sweetness, Tennessee whiskey meets our rich, creamy Bella Vitan Bella Vitino in this new classic cheese. 
breathe in that clear country air and savor the sweet life. Now, here's the thing. For a whiskey to be known as a Tennessee whiskey, it has to go through the charcoal mapling process that we know Jack Daniels goes through. But for a cheese to be called a Tennessee whiskey, what has to happen there? Has this, has this got anything to do with Jack Daniels or are they just going with the Tennessee whiskey brand? We'll see. Does it tell you ingredients? It does, but it's written in like, I can't believe there's a printer that can print this small. Or could it be my eyes going? It could be either of those two things. I think it's my eyes. Ay, ay, ay. Ingredients. Those things, that thing, that other thing. Tennessee whiskey. Corn, rye, barley, malt, water, and yeast. Doesn't say Jack Daniels. Doesn't share Jack. Doesn't say Jack Daniels, but in here we have Ooh, wild card, unlabeled. Just a little packaging label there. This one says, Abelitoano Merlot. This is a wine? This is a wine, folks. Okay. Okay. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Oh wow, this is the cooling... This is the... This is ice cold, folks. This could be the cooling, the wool cool. Protecting our planet one pack at a time. Here to keep your food cool and fresh. 100% inedible, 100% non-toxic, 100% cool, 100% Australian. Objective, this whole saving the planet stuff isn't rocket science, but we hope we can make a dent in the universe because there is no planet B. Open me up. Open me up, discard the gel and recycle the empty pouch. I want to keep this and use it for um, IRL streams. I want to free, I want to refreeze this and use it for my IRL streams to keep my homebrews cold. I'll keep that on the floor. Just verify that there's nothing else in here. That's it. Charlotte Rose. Wow. Let us open this and taste. Now, I don't typically eat on a stream, right? I don't typically eat on streams. You know. Let's change that. Keep it for the boozy IRL streams. Keep cans cold. Bingo. Right on. 13 Arbor. <coughs> How you doing, man? Bitcoin has lost 36% of its value in one month. It's happened before though. Perfect time to buy in. Perfect time to buy in. Well, Charla Rose, thank you so much for sending me this package. Shall we open the Tennessee whiskey cheese and keep the other one for when Marty's here? I reckon we should. I reckon we should open this one. Cut a little off. Thank you so much. This is very kind of you. Very kind of you. I didn't expect cheeses. I didn't, I've not expected cheeses before. Now ch cheeses turned up at my door today and I didn't know what to say. June girl, my breathing treatments, my breathing treatments are shipped with those gel packs. I use them for keeping stuff cool when outside. I'm definitely keeping them. Music man, I think I'll invest in cheese. It holds up better than Bitcoin. Everybody's freaking out about Bitcoin, folks. It has done this in the past. Bitcoin has dropped way lower than what it has today or the last few days. So my suggestion is... Yo, Jebediah, thank you for the ice cream, man. My suggestion is... A little cheese there for Jebediah. And to hold steady. In fact, buy in if you can. Not financial advice. But your Hex. Hex has dropped as well. Everything's dropped. These crackers look rad. Look at these folks. Hey, the United Kingdom. I've got your crackers. These are oat cake rounds from Britain. Ooh. They smell lovely. Let me just get a little taste of that. Oh, wow. They're crumbly. Wow. 
Hear that? That's the sound of a tasty cracker. Okay, grounds. Okay. Okay. That's not a knife, but this is whiskey cheese. Tennessee whiskey cheese. Let us open it. Mayonnaise! Mayonnaise! Wow! wow! That's what I was going to say. Hey, by the way, um, I'm restreaming this out to the to the global stratospheric internetic atmospheric platforms, Facebooks, YouTubes, Twitch, Trovos, and Bitwave, and we're going to end it soon there. So if you want to partake in the stream in its entirety, come on down to dlive.tv slash Mayunas. Wow. I don't know how to put that in. Type Mayunas. Come down to dlive.tv slash gives a minute. Thank you, Jebediah. And partake in the stream in its entirety if you wanted to. Because we're only teasing you with this little bit over on YouTube first. This is my only chat here I'm looking at. This is the uh, DLive chat. If you want to be in that chat, you got to come down to the... Uh, the URL that you see on the screen, but I did have a great thought. Now that we've opened this on stream, I can put this up on YouTube and tag in Milk the Cow and say opening up a package that was sent by a viewer and that'll be a video on YouTube. Hello, if you're watching on YouTube, the rerun later on. I'm about to taste the Tennessee whiskey cheese here. Charla Rose in the DLive chat, she sent this. I was a little perplexed as to how you can get away with calling it Tennessee whiskey cheese, given that Tennessee whiskey has to go through the specific process that old number seven goes through in Lynchburg to be called a Tennessee whiskey. Halt me with a follow, hey, halt me. Thanks for following the Gives A Minute D live stream. Now that makes you the latest giver right here on the channel. Now, why would this make you a giver? Well, let me explain, you see, you're giving me your time to consume the content, whereas me, I'm a giver because I'm giving you my time to create the content. And so you see how we're both givers here, and this is a two-way street. But you're the latest giver on the Gives A Minute D live stream. Thanks for the follow. What is under Gives right eye? My right eye? Oh, a bit of foam. <laughs> now it's on my hand. Get him out there. Thank you for pointing that out. Halt me, you never you never ask that crap when you come into a channel, dude. Hello, what's the channel about? You never do that. That's that's terrible, terrible channel chat language in a channel. You don't come in. You don't come in and ask what the channel's about. And more often than not, myself included, there's usually an about section, which you can learn that by scrolling down as you're watching. So just saying. It's nice to have you here, but don't don't try trolling. That's low. That's low form trolling, dude. I'm well ahead of you, man. Well ahead of you. Tell you what, that smells absolutely rad. I'm gonna put that carefully down here. I don't have a napkin. I'm gonna have to. Um, well, I'm going for it. I'm going for it, folks. Cheese comes off. Actually, I'm going to go for a bit just just uh, neat here, and then we'll try it on the rocks. You can hear it, right? Let it talk. Let it do its talking. Very tasty. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not a cheese connoisseur. So I don't know what to describe this as. Um, let me think about things here as I eat this. I'm gonna cracker it up now. Oh, hell yeah. The cracker and the cheese, that's a good mix. Who would have ever thought? Mayonnaise, wow! Mayonnaise, wow! Mayonnaise. wow. Who did that? James in Germany, how you doing, man? Wow. Good to see you, buddy. Mayonnaise. Oh no! Oh crikey! Mayonnaise. Twelve ice creams. Wow. I can't Mayonnaise. think. I can't wow. think how to describe this. Mayonnaise. If somebody wow. said you're you're eating a Tennessee whiskey Mayonnaise. cheese, I would say wow. I can't identify the Mayonnaise. Tennessee whiskey. Wow. James, wow. thank you for the twelve ice creams wow. on D Live here. We know that. <laughs> As the Benny 12 scoop, my friend. Jesus. 
Well, thank you so much. Yeah. 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 The bombs cold and the troll bomb. Diddy bomb. Gone. Skitty calm. God and the troll. Bumps. Bump. Just bump. She pop. Fell. Bumps. Cracky. Refresh your browsers. Refresh your browsers. Thank you so much for the Benny 12 scoop there. I don't know how to describe this. I genuinely don't know how to describe cheese. The cracker, the cracker is rad. The cracker is like a soft, it's like a wheaty, crumbly. I mean, it's, the cracker's dry. That's a good way to describe it. The cracker is dry and crumbly. The cheese is a little sort of cheesy. It's not Tennessee whiskey y. Let me get a bit more. Let me get a bit more. I want to get a bit of the crust as well. Okay, hold on. My favorite cheese has a pomegranate rub. That sounds rad. So. The crackers are a little broken. There's a few in there that sort of didn't didn't quite make the trip, but that's okay. I was going to break them anyway, so no big deal. I really want to be able to tell you what it tastes like, but I don't know what to say. I don't I don't have the skill set to explain the taste. I will tell you this, it's not whiskey. I'm not getting whiskey from this at all. I don't even know what like I guess there is sort of, if you use your imagination, there is a bit of a sweetness to it, but if you line this up and said this is a, a lineup of cheeses, one of them's made, one of them's Tennessee whiskey, whatever that actually means, I would not be able to tell you. Oh, I mean, I don't reckon I'll be able to identify this one being it. Now, I did say let's keep the other, other one for when Marty gets here. No, let's open it now. Let's open it now. Where's the um? No, oh, down there. Okay, so Tennessee whiskey will be the guy on that side, and the new one will be the guy on this side, so we don't mix them up. So let's open this. This one hasn't got actually much of a label. It says it says Bella Vitino. No, Bella. Bella Vitano Merlot. So both of these are products of the USA. And I can't read the rest. There is there is ingredients in there, but uh, I can't see it. I think it's since you do whiskey tastings, why not cheese? Yeah, I mean, Charlotte, this is Brad. I did not expect this. I, I mean, I'm definitely going to leave this on YouTube as a milk the cow uh, cheese and cracker opening tasting. I didn't expect this. I'm pretty happy that we're doing it, though. I really appreciate you sending it to me. Very, very kind of you. For those that are watching this and not sure who I'm talking about because you weren't on YouTube, uh, you weren't on DLive, Charlotte Rose. She's uh, been a very, very, very supportive, supportive, very supportive giver. We call the givers here on the Gives a Minute channel from the very beginning. And she's over here on DLive. Um, she's also on the YouTubes as well. She maybe, maybe she'll put a comment on the tubes of you so you can see her handle it. Oh, wow. This one, dude, I, I, I don't want to manhandle it, but um, look how rad that looks. Now, this is the color of the, um, the mold, the blue mold is okay, right? Blue is good. Let me confirm with the instruction manual. Normal molds, white fluffy bunny tails. No. Greenish blue mottled spots. Yes, yes. Especially on soft brie, possibly, and camembert. Wrinkly dark crusts. I think we're good here, folks. We got a spotted mottly blue thing going on here. Dude, that one smells absolutely rad. The packaging. 
the packaging. Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, smash off a bit of this. So we'll go, we'll go a little neat first, then we'll go a little on the rocks. The rocks being the cracker. Neat being just straight into a glass. Oh, it's crumbly. Crumbly up. Hearing this? Hear it. You got that? You got enough? You don't want to hear a man chew, but hey, this is an opening. <laughs> Alright. There isn't a great difference between these two. In fact, I'm going to verify that by getting a smashing off the whiskey one again. Just a little bit here. That's the whiskey. And this is the moldy blue one. I'm going to go a little of, little of both here because I don't really taste too much of difference. Whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A bit more subdued. The undertone, the undertone flavor. It doesn't come out as quick. On the palate, the back of the tongue doesn't get it as much. Wait a second. This one's order already smoother and a little bit uh, softer, for sure. All right, all right. They're very similar. Blue malted cheese, uh, moldy, crusty cheese. That one's a wetter, softer, falling apart style. Tennessee whiskey's a little bit firmer, a little bit hold, a little holds up a little more in your hand and in your mouth. The, I'll get another cracker here. The, uh, br um, the moldy one has an aftertaste, which hangs around, whereas the other one just kind of went, okay. See ya. You've eaten me. You've swallowed it. It's done. I'm going to try some of the uh, moldy one on a cracker here. Or as Poopsie says, on a fucker. She can't pronounce cracker. She calls them fucker. Now that's the, that's the innocence of a five-year-old. Calm down. I mean, they're both rad. On the cracker, no doubt about that. I would um, I would argue I need a bit more cracker here. The cracker to cheese ratio is out of whack here. I'm gonna do a little cracker burger. Whoops, a cracker burger here. Mmm. All right. Oh. I think that's it. I didn't have enough cracker. The ratio was out of whack. The proportions. Yo, Hexy Mofo, how you doing, man? Hey, Ben, on how you going, buddy? I'm opening up a package that Charlotte Rose sent me, featuring cheese from the USA. And one of the cheeses is made with Tennessee whiskey, not Jack Daniels, though. Or oh, it doesn't mention Jack Daniels. So there could be a brand conflict there. A little brand conflict, possibly. I'm going to just finish that little bit left over here. That's the that's the whiskey one. But what I've got now, essentially, I've got this much cheese here. That one there is the Tennessee whiskey. This one here is the one that didn't really have much on the label. That's got the nice malted. Ch um... Oh wow. That's the echoey cheese. <laughs> um, that one there's, look, you can even see that one's a wet cheese, right? That one's this, look, look, use your eyes. Dry cheese, wet cheese, whiskey cheese, other one. I couldn't distinguish which would be which if someone had blindfolded me and asked me to choose, I wouldn't be able to work it out. There's the crackers. These are from the UK, oat cake rounds. I'm going to stash these. I'm going to wrap these up later. I'm going to stash these. And when Marty, my friend Martin, is going to come down for the weekend, I think we'll be streaming on Saturday. My Saturday. Wow. I think we'll be streaming Saturday night together. Um, 
I'll definitely be eating these with him and probably having a few drinky poos together at some point. But what I would love to do now is say one more thank you, Charla Rose, for sending me Milk the Cow cheeses. Where are they from? Where are they from? Fitzroy. Oh, sorry, Fitzroy Street, St Kilda. So in Victoria, Melbourne, Australia, folks. Victoria, that's a whole bunch of sub club, but suburbs for those that don't know. Victoria, from the state of Victoria in Australia, Milk the Cow. I can't show you their branding. Oh, their branding is, is a little bit aloof. There it is, Milk the Cow. That's how it comes. Oh, wait a second. Dudes, this is, these are the two whiskeys, ah, the two um, cheeses. Sorry, man, I should have seen that. Um, this one here, oh, well, they both got the same front, but they do have different backs. Sartori Reserve Tennessee Whiskey Bella Vitanio from Wisconsin. Unique Italian style farmstead Parmesan cheddar hybrid cheese. Full of spirit and a smooth sweetness. It's bathed in all American whiskey. Oddly enough, that was drier than the other one. The other one here. Sartori Reserve Merlot Bella Vitanio. Probably saying that all wrong. Unique Italian style farmstead cheese immersed in fine Merlot wine, adding tangy hints of berry and plum to the nutty, fruity flavors of the rich, creamy cheddar parmesan hybrid cheese. Yeah. Should have read those before I opened them. But there you go, folks. That's my first ever cheese opening. Cheeses that went well. Appreciate that. Charlotte, once again, much, much, much thanks for you to sending this to me. I didn't expect that. It's very kind of you. Wonderful stuff. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Elsa in the house. G'day, Elsa. You just missed out, man. We just opened some cheeses. Fun times. What I would love to do now is take a slight pause here. Um, I'm going to go out and grab a coffee. I'm going to come back in, and we're going to get into watching the community stream that we missed. So we watch these community streams on DLive every two weeks, run by the head of community tidy in the English speaking channels. And we just like to see what we've missed out on or what things are happening, what changes are coming to the site. So we're gonna do that. I am gonna end the restream. So this is gonna be ta-ta to the YouTubes and Facebooks and consequently the video portion, I guess, which will go on YouTube. So um, one more reminder to come on down to DLive Town. If you want to partake in the stream, you want to be here, you want to hang out with us, you want to chit chat, you've got comments you want to make. I'm only looking at one chat. It's right here. Here it is. If you want to be involved in that chat, you've got to be down here on DLive.tv slash gives a minute. That's where the stream's going to live. So I'd, I'd urge you to come on down here. But to get us to a coffee, give me a chance to go and wrap this cheese up on the screen. There are 19 bands. These bands all relate back to me somehow, some way, some shape or another. I'd like you yahoos to choose what you want to hear from on this list. And when we get a consensus of at least two of you choosing the same band, we'll play that. So I'll read out the bands and you guys ch 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 choose what you want. Number one is Tracer. Number two is Black Aces. Number three is Ween. Number four is The Shiny Brights. Number five is Peter Bibby. Number six is Burn Collect. Number seven is Tracer in Bonn, Germany. Number eight, Triggerfinger. Number nine, Dappled Cities. Number 10, Tracer in the Basque Country. Number 11, The Delta Saints. Number 12, King of the North. Number 13, Everyday Circus. Number 14, Tommy Rutland. Number 15, Gilgamesh. Number 16, Tracer in Nottingham, the UK. Number 17, Loot. Number 18, Kingswood. And number 19, The Wires. In the chit chat, NetTV says 19. Music Man says 19. Charlotte Rose says 19. Devo says 19. Well, folks, out of Switzerland, this is The Wires. Welcome back to the Slightly Random Daily Song! Excuse me, I've got a little crunchy throat here, a bit of a cold going on, a bit of a sore throat. 
This t-shirt, the wires, you see this? You see that? From Switzerland. Switzerland, this band, a two-piece, opened for Tracer in 2016. So, what do I recall from the tour? Well, not a great deal, but it was, I think it was the second tour that I vlogged. Might have been the first tour. Anyway, um, I don't actually own any of their music, but we obviously saw them play every night of the, the tour. There's a song that they began, I think they opened their show with, called Big Mouth. So I'm going to play you a video I shot of that. But um, just a little, before we, before we get to that, a little side note. There was one time in Budapest, and I had... So, there was this rad venue, a really, really interesting, old... It's kind of like a, um... I think it was like a hospital or something, I don't know, it was like a big, sort of rectangular multiple room venue and I can't I can't even really describe it. It had long long corridors and off each corridor it's kind of like an in, insane asylum or something. Off the corridor was different band venues and there must have been like you know five or six different rock shows going on every night in these like it's, it's like a huge venue massive like something I've never seen the scale of and in that, in that corridor, I remember looking down the line and just seeing beautiful, like it had really nice green shaded lights and just, I thought that would be a rad spot for a photo shoot. The wires and I had been talking about doing a shoot together. So we set this up and I feel like I got some pretty, some pretty cool um, depth of field long, like I shot with the 200 mil lens all the way down, some flashes. It was, it was a fun little shoot there. Um, the guys never used the photos. There was talk about them going to be run in promo, blah, blah, blah. Never actually happened. Either way, they still exist. And um, I want to show you this clip. So enjoy, well, this, this track, Big Mouth. I'm sorry, I'm not 100% myself right now. I'm a little ill. This track, Big Mouth, um, I enjoyed this every night because of the obscure drumming pattern, like just the... It's just engaging, right? Interesting. And this is just one, one instance of it and I've... I liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy. Big Mouth by The Wires. Oh, where was this? This was, um... Oh yeah, this was a place called Erfurt in Germany. Erfurt. Maximum Erfurt was the gag we were making. Erfurt. E-R-F-E-R-T. Erfurt. The wires with Big Mouth.